John Otway is a sharpshooter for an oil company in Alaska, primarily killing gray wolves that threaten the drillers. On his last day on the job, he sees a wolf pursuing a pipeline worker and shoots it, listening to the wolf's final breath. That evening, Otway writes a letter, without purpose, to his wife, Anna, explaining his plans to kill himself, but does not follow through. The next day, Otway boards a plane that will take him back to Anchorage for his two weeks off. However, the plane begins to have major turbulence and falls apart, crashing somewhere in the remote Alaskan wilderness. Only a handful of people survive the crash, including Otway. Otway sees Chavis calling for help, pinned down, stabbing his leg on his seat and his leg got stuck. Otway helps him, though Chavis has hypoxia. Otway finds Hernandez before they find Flannery sleeping. Otway and Hernandez take Flannery to the crash, finding Talia, Diaz, and Burke. Henrik watches helplessly as Lunden has a lot of blood on his abdomen. Otway talks quietly to Lunden before he dies of his injuries. Otway takes charge of the survivors and sees one of the flight attendants moving. He runs to help her, only to realize that the movement came from a wolf feeding on her corpse. Otway is attacked by the wolf, but is rescued by the group. Diaz finds Kafskin's body. Awe realizes that the plane has crashed in the wolves' territory, and they take turns keeping watch. While on watch, Hernandez is killed by two wolves, and Awe suggests that they should leave the crash site to avoid further attacks. While searching for the wallets of the dead to return to their families, Diaz finds an emergency wrist watch with a radio beacon, which he vainly hopes will send for rescue. While attempting to reach the nearby tree lean, Flannery falls behind and is killed by three wolves. The survivors run for the trees, lighting a fire to ward off the animals and building makeshift weaponry. Diaz succumbs to stress and threatens Otway with a knife but is quickly disarmed. Before he can apologize he is attacked by a wolf, which the group manages to kill and roast for food. Otway surmises that the wolf was an omega sent by the alpha wolf to test the group. A crazed Diaz beheads the wolf's corpse, throwing the severed head at the pack, which causes the wolves to howl in rage. By the fire, Diaz tells the group of his atheism and Talget states that he believes in God and lovingly talks about his daughter. Awe says that he is also an atheist, but wishes that he could believe or have faith, and recites a simple poem written by his father. The next day, a blizzard hits in Burke, who had been suffering from hypoxia, is found dead. The remaining survivors travel to the edge of a canyon. Henrik secures a line to a tree on the opposite side, and Diaz and Otway traverse the canyon. Talgit gets his foot caught on a hook, and the rope breaks away and he falls to the ground. Barely alive, he hallucinates a vision of his daughter, and is dragged away and gets ripped apart by wolves. Attempting to save Talgit, Diaz falls from the tree and badly injures his knee. Diaz, Awe, and Henrik arrive at a river where Diaz, humbled by his journey and unable to walk, explains that he can accept dying in the middle of nature. Leaving Diaz to his fate, Awe and Henrik continue and are set upon by the wolves. Henrik falls into the river and is trapped beneath the surface. Awe is unable to pull him loose, and Henrik drowns. Now alone, Awe angrily appeals to God to show him something real but seeing nothing decides that he will do it himself. Exhausted and suffering from hypothermia, Awe eventually stops walking and goes through the collected wallets before arranging them into a cross. He realizes too late that he has stumbled right into the wolves than the team had been walking towards, not away from, the danger. Surrounded by the wolf pack and facing its leader, Awe looks at his wife's photo in his wallet. It is revealed that she was dying of a terminal illness, the reason for his suicidal tendencies earlier. As the Alpha Wolf approaches, Awe arms himself with a knife and shards of liquor bottles taped to his hand. He recites the words in a voiceover, once more into the fray, into the last good fight I'll ever know, live and die on this day, and then charges the Alpha Wolf. In the aftermath, Awe and the Alpha Wolf are shown breathing heavily and lying down on each other, 
leaving their fates unknown.